are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. And uh, we are very excited to learn your experience and uh, talk to you for the next 15 to 20 minutes. So without any further ado, uh, would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself, uh, which school you come from, your curriculum, and which year you are at college right now? Yeah, okay. So, uh, hi, my name is Bruni. Uh, I went to Jamnath Bainasi International School in Mumbai uh, and studied the IB. Uh, I'm now a sophomore at Pomona College, majoring in either politics and math or politics and economics. Okay, that's a good uh, start to know about. Uh, so would you like to uh, tell us what majors have you uh, taken up and uh, why that? Yeah, so like I said, I'm definitely a politics major and either econ or math. So the politics just came from like, I grew up discussing a bunch of politics with my dad and I was super passionate about it. And I love reading like political literature and stuff. And first semester, my um, first year seminar was a politics class, and my professor was absolutely amazing. So, like, that's where I was like, okay, I think I want to be a politics major. And uh, yeah, I mean, now I'm like halfway into it, and it's been a lot of fun. The professors at Pomona are really great. So, the politics, I guess, just came organically. Uh, Math was one of the reasons I went to Pomona. I really enjoyed math and the IB, and I didn't think I would. And I wanted to continue exploring it. So I started taking math classes at Pomona. And I, I mean, I've been like dallying around the major. I've been like scared if I'm good enough to do it and stuff. But the department's really supportive, and it's been really great. So I'm also halfway through the math major. Uh, but then I took a few econ classes and I've really been enjoying those. So now I'm just trying to pick between the math and the econ. Okay, perfect. I hope you're able to pick uh, the one that you intend to. <laughs> uh, so now actually tell us that, you know, uh, why uh, did you choose to attend Pomona and how did you get into it? Uh, yeah. yeah, so I mean, I actually got into law school in the UK and I was really considering that. But like I said, I really started enjoying math and econ and IB. And I wasn't sure if like, I was ready to go to law school at that point. And I got off the waitlist at Pomona actually. Uh, and Pomona is just, it's really cool. Like it's an open curriculum. You kind of just study what you want to study and you can explore and I really wanted to do that. It felt like the right thing for me to do. Just like explore all my different interests. I've taken like philosophy classes and history classes and politics and then math and CS and econ. And I don't think any of the other schools I got into gave me the opportunity to do this the way I'm doing it. So I feel like that's a huge part of why I chose to move now. Uh, great. Um, so what else do you like about your college? Like, you know, what enthralled you to finally decide to get in? Oh, like what did I do to get in? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what I did. I feel like I had good grades. But I think what Pomona really cares about is whether the student fits into the community. And I guess the ideal Pomona student is just like someone who's really passionate. It doesn't matter about what, like you can pick your own thing to be passionate about, but like everyone's just so into like what they do and like what they want to do. And it's really cool because it's a really diverse community, but I think like intellectual passion just like is the baseline to everything. So I feel like that's really cool. Uh, what I did to get in, uh, I don't know. I feel like there was some part of me that always felt like I would get in because like every time I thought about going to Pomona, it just seemed right. Uh, I mean, I had like, I played the drums. I'd done drama uh, for a few years. I had good grades. I'd done some research stuff. 
but I don't think it was like one specific thing that got me and I just think like I fit the community yes got it I, I'm sure there are a lot of um, million other things that finally made you uh, to attend uh, Pomona um, all right. So, would you like to, uh, you know, talk a little about your uh, high school subjects, uh, your scores, your test scores, or something like that? Yeah. So, in the IB, I did uh, math, econ, and psych at higher level, and I did Spanish ab initio, English, and uh, physics as well. Uh, so I think my predicted was either a 41 or 42 out of 42. Uh, and then I had a 1480 on the SAT. Yeah. All right, that's great. So uh, tell us about, you know, what did your college profile actually look like, you know, that, uh, in, in that kind of attracted uh, the admissions and uh, also tell us about your extracurricular activities there. Yes, I feel like my whole, like what I wanted to reflect, the, what, what I wanted my college profile to reflect was intellectual curiosity. So like, especially for Pomona. So like my essays were like about things like that. And then my extracurriculars, like I said, like I'd been, I'd done, like I'd studied law at summer school at Oxford. Then I'd done like, a research project on political nepotism. I play the drums. Uh, I pursued drama for a few years. So, I mean, I think that was the main focus. I can talk more about my college essays if you like. Sure, sure, that, that was going to be the question. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. So uh, my, common, my common app essay was about the futility of war. And like that just came from a conversation with Neerat so because uh, I felt really passionately about it. So it was just like a narrative based on like why I think that war is futile. And like the narrative was based around how like the way we study Indian and Pakistani history, like we're ingrained since we're kids to just like, I guess, hate Pakistan. And I just questioned that through the essay. So that's what my common app essay was about. Um, then my additional essay was just like explaining my political nepotism research project and what I intended to do with it. And then the Pomona had two prompts. So the first one was for like, it was about a, a place that shaped me. Um, and I picked the couch in my house uh, and the story actually was just about me watching the news at eight with my dad every day since I was a kid. Uh, so it was like, I guess it was just like a timeline since I was a kid, like me just watching the TV and what I learned from it. So it started from like children's shows and some psychological inferences to like bigger news things and like what the kind of discussions I had with my dad and why that led to the intellectual curiosity I have today. And then the other one was just a why this major essay. And I think I wrote about philosophy, but I don't really remember much about that. Perfect. Uh, no worries. Um, so also do tell us that, you know, according to you, what do you feel is a good fit for Pomona and what wouldn't be a good fit? If you would like to, you know, talk a little about that. I mean, the kind of people who come to Pomona don't, I'm just like interested in one thing. They have a lot of like wide ranging interests. Like I know people who are studying theater and econ and like, I mean, I'm trying to study math and politics, right? And it's not just about what you major in, it's also like, like the, the stuff you delve into. Like I'm on, I'm on the mock trial team and most schools see that as a pre-law thing and I might be pre-law, but then there are pre-med kids on the team too. So it's just that like, People are just doing random things that they enjoy, but they'll do it with like a lot of passion. So I guess that's one thing. And then the other thing is just like really intellectual individuals. Like I've had some amazing conversations with the most unexpected people. So I feel like that's kind of a big like Pomona thing. 
<laughs> right, absolutely. So, you know, we do have a lot of questions for you in our Q&A box. And uh, I would like to ask you a few of them. So, uh, yeah, so Vidit asks that apart from the main essay, you know, can you elaborate a little more about the why is essay, like what exactly you wrote in it? Oh, okay. So, I mean, we didn't have a why us. I say, like I said, the prompt was what, like a location that shaped you. Uh, and my location, like I said, was I picked the couch. Uh, I mean, I think what I was basically trying to say was that just like watching the TV and talking about what I saw with my dad really helped shape me as an intellectual. Because like the essay like mentioned a wide range of topics that like different ages and it all like it was a range of things it was like philosophical conversations to political ones to ones about history so i mean i don't quite know how to explain it uh but that's what it was yes absolutely um so there's a question by Vivan and he says Pomona has said to be a work school and not a party school so how was your how has your experience been so far I mean, I feel like that's the notion, but it's not like that. Like you find people who want to do all kinds of things. And I mean, it's in a small town, but there's so much always happening on campus. Like if you want to go to a party, there are like five parties at one place, like every day of the weekend. Like CMC is a huge party school and like all the five C's party together. So you find people you want to party with. And then if you don't want to party with, that's completely okay too. So like, I mean, it's not as party oriented as like a state school, but like, it's also not the case where like, you, you would just expect it to like not party at all. Like you, you kind of just can take what you want to do. Right, absolutely. I think you need a balance of both. You cannot just do keep doing one thing. You, you need both. Yeah. Uh, great. So uh, also there's a question that, do you think that we can take STEM major with humanities uh, you know, um, um, as arts or any other minor along with it? Oh my God, definitely. Like, that's what I'm doing, right? Like, I mean, my main major is a humanities major, but like, I mean, I explored CS for a bit. Uh, I think I'm going to go through with math instead of econ, or that's what I'm feeling right now, at least. So you can like, you can do anything. Like, there, no one's going to stop you. Like, there are a few general education requirements that are like six or seven classes. But beyond that, you pick what you want to do with your four years. So there's no restriction on what you can major in and what you can't. Like you can combine the two of the randomest majors and that's fine. Right, absolutely. And glad to know that you have combined such majors and minors <laughs> for you. All right. So, you know, um, students are also interested to know about uh, you know communities and organizations clubs on campus and how effective they are and how do you feel yourself being part of um, them yeah i mean pomona is a small community like we're 400 kids a year so like it's like being a part of clubs and stuff means that like there are like 30 to 40 people at most so like you actually get to know the people around you and like like i'm on the mock trial team and the mock trial team is like 40 odd people or so but like we hang out a lot and it's like the team's really close because we travel together and like we like practice together and we have parties together so I mean the community aspect is really strong even with the Indian community like there aren't that many people but like everyone knows everyone just because the community is small and everyone's trying to support each other all right absolutely so uh, the community is really fun to be in yeah absolutely also if you could you know uh, talk a little about uh the internship opportunities uh, work on campus and are you up are you doing something already yeah so uh i actually have been working as a ta since uh my second semester at pomona so initially i just graded stuff for a math class and then last semester, I was like a mentor who had officers and stuff for the intro econ class. And now I'm a TA uh, who grades and holds mentor hours for uh, multivariable calculus. 
So, I mean, finding jobs on campus is not that hard because the community is small and there's a lot you can do. I really enjoy teaching. So, like, that's what I've been doing. And then this summer, I have an internship. Uh, I'm working at a legal nonprofit. And the, like, what the legal nonprofit is trying, like, it's basically for veterans. So, it does legal stuff for veterans. Um, and it's run by a Pomona alum who is writing about this really cool. I mean, it's not cool. It's really sad, actually. Um, basically, veterans can't contest the court. Like, they can't contest in civil court. So if you get sexually abused, you can't get justice through the legal system. And people don't really know about this. So he's writing a book about it, and I'm helping him do the legal research. So that's what I'm doing this summer. I think that's very unique, interesting, and I would say insightful to know about. Um, also, yeah. that's something very bold to do. So... So I think that's great. Uh, also, so, uh, you know, uh, students here are definitely interested to, I think, attend Pomona and uh, therefore they are listening to you. So uh, what else about Pomona would you take, like, you know, take up this opportunity to tell them that, you know, they can consider it more thinking about that? I mean, I would say forget about the perception that it's a work only school because that's definitely not true. And then I think for me, what, what's really stood out about Pomona is that like, there's an opportunity to do absolutely anything you want. And I feel like I've really grown as a person because the community is so, support, so supportive. Like I have a fear of public speaking and I do mock trials. And like, like that's a lot of public speaking. So like the people around me have like really helped me get through that. And that's the case for everything. Like math classes, like, if you can't get through a homework, literally your whole class shows up to mentor us and like 30 of you are getting through it together. And I feel like that's really great. Absolutely. Right. Um, also, you know, it's now time for you to give tips and any word of advice for all the students, junior students who are hearing you right now and who look forward to attending Pomona. I mean, definitely get your grades up because like Pomona is getting harder to get into and that matters. But I would also say that like Pomona cares about grades, but not to the extent where if they genuinely think you're a good fit and you have decent grades, they'll let you in. Like I genuinely think because we're a small school, like what really matters to them is whether you fit into the community and what you're going to add to the community. So the community aspect is huge. So I feel like that's what I would focus on in my Pomona application. That helped. Thank you. So there are actually uh, one more. There's actually one more question for you. So uh, Vidit says that we all know that you know Pomona is traditionally more known for its liberal arts approach, and uh, uh, likewise. So is it uh, good to take up uh, majors like STEM, astrophysics, or physics at Pomona? Yeah, I mean Pomona is really great for everything. Like. I think the math and physics departments are some of the best on campus. Uh, so like you have the opportunity to explore other things, but every department in itself is really strong. And I feel like that's what makes Pomona really unique because whether you want to study STEM or the humanities, like they genuinely have strong programs for all of that. So for the most part, anything you want to study in, you, it's a great place to study it. Thank you. Thank you, Drumi. Thank you so much for your time and uh, taking up all the questions and taking us inside Pomona through what you said. And it was really very insightful. Also, students are interested to have your email ID so that, you know, they can get in touch with you for more yeah, questions. Yeah, it's just Drumi it's just Shah at Gmail. I mean, just get my name spelled. Okay, right? I, will, I will yeah. type that out in the chat box. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. I hope you have a great day and I would now like to give it over to Mr. Deesha.